Hi YouTube, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I but I I have a dilemma here with Dan McCohen, the Hebrew Bible scholar. It's not so bad that he was talking about Paul, which is um most likely fictitious books that have been spreading disinformation. Um that's not the, not the worst part of it, or even talking about the gay community that he supports in a stronger manner than I do. I support all people and their freedoms and um, their safety. And that's where it comes into microbiology. And instead of in, trying to enlist or ensue a... Uh, uh, microbiologist in the health of the community he doubles down on his bullshit just come out of the closet Danny who cares nobody cares maybe your wife and kids might but you know people out in the world we don't we don't care stop beating your your um stop beating the meat of that dead horse Oh, I couldn't help it. I am, ladies and gentlemen, my apologies. I'm I'm in a rare mood. Just just excuse me a moment. Cheers. What an idiot. I mean, fine, support people, but you're not supporting them if you're harming them. And that's, you know, I'm just waiting for the rest of the medical community that care about people mentally and physically to stand up and speak on the things that you and I know happened to us in our childhoods and changed our DNA and our perspective on the world. Damn it. You know, do what's right. Is that possible? I'm totally opting out of the most popular position. I'm not chasing after that. Not for one second. Um, who here has picked up a microscope? Do you have one? Have you ever checked your own body fluids? to see changes that would happen within you? I have. Have you ever cut something open and sewed it back up? Um, as far as an operation, or have you ever done anything in the medical field? Um, I wrote papers on morgellons.org on the gestation period and the care for people that have more gallons. If you do have any questions on that, I can go into it deeper with you. I'm just waiting for this one doctor that is a virologist or has been and worked in that area. Um, I think he might be the most honest doctor out there, but time will tell. But I can let him know my information and one mind knowing the truth and trying to help people is one thing. But if you can put two minds together in the same area of concerns for people. Yeah, I've been trying physically, spiritually, um, every way I could possibly think of. To help people that are in need of help. And they know it. I know it. The rest of the world doesn't know it. And they are um, going on people's outer exterior in their words. They're not actually digging into the psyche of that human being. Or what may have happened to them when they were younger. How they were formed and why certain things happen to people in different environments and stuff in life. So, um, yeah, my anger comes in, and then I say things that 
I do try to make them sound a little bit funny, even though I'd like to uh, totally kick somebody in their head. I wouldn't kill him, but I would kick him in his head. I wouldn't mind. Actually, I would not mind. It would give me a delight <laughs> to kick, kick somebody in their head when they're not using it. It wouldn't matter, would it? And if I were sparring, and I invite people to do that all the time, I love martial arts. I love dance. I have a combination thing I do that is nobody else's, and it's different and um, inventive and dangerous, and I totally enjoy it. So I'm not going to, and, and if somebody looks down on that, good for you. Oh, well, you haven't put in the, been put in a situation where you have to save your own life or save other people. So get out of here with your wimpy ass, um, spineless creature self. So you're not sticking up by for people by doing what mainstream what most of the people in the world are following along with. That is not helping people at all. You're just going for that top position of um, the most popular. Who gives up? You know? Oh, I saw a post. Somebody had shared the four zodiac signs that will never chase anybody i knew mine was on there but um they didn't give us the fourth one i'm an aquarian there was a virgo on there there was uh let's see what else did they say hmm. aquarian virgo capricorn both my sons are capricorn and two of my granddaughters are Capricorns, and they're not a real chasey type personality either, or clingy or anything like that. They're um, independent in a lot of ways. But I wrote the dude, hey, you were supposed to tell us the fourth one, not us tell you. That's what his post had said. My first guess was Aleel. And then I thought, no, maybe a Taurus or an Aries. Um, Doug's a Taurus Aries cuss. He's not a very chasey type person either. You know, if we clash, we come back with a meeting of the minds on mutual ground. We don't bend over. I mean, we'll help each other, but we don't bend over, you know. So for people, if you're new here, I gave him a letter of divorcement. He's a narcissist. If he wants to take it and go get rid of me at any time, I don't care. That is my personality. So if somebody thinks like they're way up there and I might be following you because you think you have something that I'm lacking or... Um, whatever. That is not the case. <laughs> so, I might be um, trying to actually help you where you don't see you need that help. And that's, that's what my video is about today. People that are dishonest with their selves. And they know they are. You know, like I say, following the crowd sometimes isn't the best thing to do when people are um, hurt or about to be hurt and encouraging people to let their freak flag fly can be a dangerous thing, especially for little people. Look what California is doing to little people. Do you know? Do you know that... Um, if you don't go along with gender changing um, hormones for children, that the state could come in and take your child out of your home. How many people, like for me, for instance, I played softball, but I mean, 
as far as climbing trees or swimming or more most athletics I excelled a lot better than a lot of the boys that didn't make me masculine but I mean like I was a junior firefighter I have my badge still um I did a lot of things in my life that back in them days were more predominant predominantly male like helping my dad in his shop and um, he worked for the city but he did a lot of things in his life too that's where I kind of got my drive to keep learning whatever I can learn all kinds of things I can do a lot of things you wouldn't even believe well you'd believe it because I'd show you <laughs> but yeah Hey, never stop learning, no matter what it is. <coughs> so, first off, okay, it's really cool to dig into words and to dig into what the scriptures say and to... Uh, evaluate that and give your own somewhat solid opinion on your studies it's another thing not to know that um we're biology and there's a set rhythm in biology in every aspect of nature there's causes and reactions to the science behind it it's like if you're going to make an elixir of some type, well, we all know like the baking soda by itself, bicarbonate soda or vinegar, they're, they're harmless alone. Put them together, there's something different. There's a chemical reaction. And that's what I'm trying to describe and how it's connected with the spiritual part of the whole thing. So why is somebody... Who, who professes to be a God-loving person wouldn't care to dig into the microbiology combination spirituality of that electricity within us when we have encounters with other human beings. It's logical. It's sensible. What I'm saying is absolutely true. And yet... People keep thinking they're extremely intelligent when they stifle themselves at a certain level. Yeah, it's maddening. Absolutely mad maddening. So, yeah. So, I mean, I expected a kickback. I didn't expect it. And I was a blackjack dealer, too, at one point. I didn't expect a double down on your stupidity. I expected a little bit of a glimmer of hope that there could be something more scientific behind the agendas that are being pushed on people. And the very wise people, you know what I'm talking about, too. You do know it because it's in your lives. Gay, straight, whoever, whatever. You know what, what I'm saying is true. It's only the people wanting to um, either make money off of what they're doing or hide their inner nature or whatever it is. Nobody cares. I really do care about the health of people. So, what's more important? Sticking up for somebody that's harming themselves or making sure they know the science behind that and how it could harm them? What's more important to you? Seems, oh, I'm, I'm, oh. I need a second here. <laughs> this is difficult to talk about. It's not easy for me. You may not know it. You probably don't even care. 
I have um, gay, bisexual, family members, whatever. I have people that love me, like me, understand me, that I think they would be honest about what I'm talking about here. Where's the honesty out of the people that say they actually love people that won't dig into this science? The, the mental health community is going along with what what is being laid before them and they're not even questioning it, you know? We question in science. We don't stand still, you know? Everything's scientific. Every bit of our existence. There's, there's a reaction to everything we do physically in our lives. And it's so important to the younger generation. They're, they're, well, maybe, maybe with some of this new spiritual, the spiritual revolution, <laughs> which can be good in some ways. Maybe they'll have enough quiet time to resolve these types of things within their own minds because people aren't stupid. Most people have been led to believe that science is beyond your grasp. It's not. Especially biology. Once you start digging into it, everybody has it in them. Can't get beyond it, you know. But if you watch a show or mainstream or whatever and they have these people on there that appear to be very intelligent, that's why they're put there pushing the agendas of the dark cabal. So if we encounter these people, when I tell you somebody's working on this agenda, that's just what I'm telling you. There's no other reason for it. It's either pure stupidity, which I'm not dealing with stupid people, or it's agenda driven. Even even personally on a personal level. That um that's where the word minion comes in. Um many people doing their own little things that that all balled up into one energy exhibits a, a sickness in the human population so each person doesn't think they're actually doing anything but as a combination they're a great weapon towards the next generation so every little bit and any little bit that somebody could help would be great. I'm calling on doctors, physically and mentally. It's time for you to stand up on this and do what's right for the younger people in the world. I'm so sick of your lies within yourself. How can you look in the mirror? You must feel ugly as shit. I would, if I knew there was something in me that changed within a certain encounter or whatever in my life, whatever it was, a spouse, a child, different things that might change your body or for whatever reason, somebody had contaminated you in some way, that a part of you, that innocence will never be there again. There are certain things our bodies are made for that you have to guard against if you cross those lines. 
you have to know the science behind it to take care of yourself. And this isn't being taught. I can look at somebody and know if they're suffering from a yeast infection because of their sexual habits. You know, something like that. Not many doctors could do that. As a matter of fact, you can go into a doctor's office. It's been at least maybe 30 years, 20 and some, but you're not even going to find a microscope in that doctor's office. They, they couldn't tell you what a fluke looks like under a microscope. Not even close. You know? They're not actually scientists. <laughs> you know? They're pseudo. It isn't a pseudoscience, but they made it into one. Because you know, if they can sell you a medication, their clinic or hospital is going to get the dividends from whichever pharmacological company they're they're getting their drugs from, you know, it's all true. What I'm saying is so true. I mean, people are afraid to talk about their innermost self. And we all have that. Who cares? Why? What are you afraid of that you can't do what's right for other people? What do you think you're going to lose by blazing a path in science for people? I mean, you lose a lot more from keeping silent on it. And everybody else loses too because I can't find any help to prove my findings. Medically and spiritually. I don't have enough people with backbone behind me that are going to share my information or care about it or anything. And I'm far from crazy and I'm far from stupid or ignorant in any way. I detest people that um, lack the ability to go beyond the norm with their learning abilities. Yeah, I detest it. It's, yeah, I do. If you spend a day around my house, we'd blow your mind. You wouldn't walk out of here without learning something. I guarantee it. And I do say Doug Satan and head of the dark cabal, but, you know, it's a joke, right? And it's not true. And a lot of people say that. That's probably why... I was trained by Jesuits to fight this spiritual battle because I don't even play a part in the situation. Well, you do, and so do your children. And that's why I'm doing it. Your children are being attacked and ripped apart from what is natural in this world totally separated from it and everybody's just sitting back and watching it they're actually and literally taking the spirit of God out of people chemically and etherically so you won't have that connection of guidance and stupid professors who profess to have knowledge, but won't go beyond what academics has said. This is what it is. Science is like that, too.
about 25 years ago, I had to go to the center of disease, my local office, control. I had uh, pieces of my flesh sent in because I have what they call a unknown fluke in my blood. Well, I started studying it on my own. And I identified it. There's three major parts, nine components, three major bugs with three major parts and three different gestation periods within that. Then they tried to hide my records when I went back in there, but I had a printer at the time and I had copied them because I knew they were going to try and cover up what they were trying to push as an agenda, as a superbug that was created. Some of you know I found vials when I was 12 years old in the Masonic Lodge, and they had to move these vials to the East Coast, and they moved them back where they originated, which was in Singapore, China. And I got in some pretty big trouble. But there was nothing they could do with me. They tried to take my life several times, and it was foiled several times. That would be spooky, wouldn't it? A lot of people have tried to kill me, and it didn't work. Wonder what's up with that. <laughs> I always wondered, you know. Because I wasn't supposed to be out here talking about this. Well, here I am. Yeah, it's all real. What I'm telling you is the absolute truth. The absolute truth. There's some medical professionals that you know what I'm talking about is true. That there's one identifiable microorganism that is, um, it's cancerous, it causes all the diseases in our bodies, and it's a uh, very, it's um, very, I was going to say reminiscent, it's semblance is to that of the syph syphilis, and um, it can actually morph into different things within our system because of the things that we do within our body. Things we eat, places we go. Um, the chemistry is mind-boggling of the things that can happen to you in your body just because of one certain something that might have happened to you, natural or unnatural. What I'm telling you is so true, and science is way behind on this shit, and I'm totally ashamed of these fuckers out there that pretend that they love people, but not enough to go buy a microscope and do some research on your own. Where's your brain? Did you leave it in your Bible? Well, I'm just asking. I want to know where it went because uh, the the compassion isn't there. And lying to yourself is so evident. And like I say, you look pure-ass ugly as a liar. Doubling down on your bullshit. Is that how you talk to God? You go within your scriptures and find pointed things to uh, jade the people that are trying to help other ones? Is that how you praise your Lord? I prefer people that praise them, him with hard work. Real hard work, not just to make your money, but actual concern for other people. Do you know 
You'll get everything in your life you ever wanted within limits. You know, if you do things the right way. You'll want for nothing if you do things the right way. You might have a fancy house, fancy car, swimming pool, I don't know. But being a liar, you will pay for that in other ways. You know, I, I know somebody, I had to uh, kick him out of my house. He had punched Doug one time. This guy we both knew. And um, one time somebody took a spur and, and smacked him in his head, sliced his head clear open. I used to think that's why he had thinking problems. But then I found out later in life that that wasn't what it was. But he had a car accident about a week ago. And he's not long for this world. And he really doesn't deserve to be. And who am I to judge? Well, I know people very well. But I'm I'm just kind of, I can mark the people that are dirty inside. And they do not leave this world unscathed without that suffering and knowing why they are experiencing that it's a gift that they give themselves so you know if you don't really care about people that's one thing probably preaching or trying to teach the scriptures probably isn't a good area for your dark nature towards people Well, I have a dark nature. It's way down in there. I don't mind pulling her out every once in a while. I'm not a hypocrite, and I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about that. When I get there, you brought me there, and you're going to get what you deserve. Plus. So I just want to make it really clear that I'm totally ashamed of the so-called medical professionals that won't speak up on this. You're so dishonest. You're disgusting. You're fucking ugly. And your mother dresses you funny. And that's how I feel about it. No matter what you're wearing. Or whatever you look like. I think everybody's cute. But you have to be cute. In order to actually. Shine like that. Or you never will. You can pretend whatever you want, and your youth is only going to serve you in your stupidity for a short time. Then if you don't have a mind and a heart behind that, you'll get sick. You're already sick. People like that. So anyway, I do appreciate you joining me. I think I have somebody new here. Thank you so much. I hope you find my channel information full because it is. And it's all true. So, okay, everybody. Have a really good night or day wherever you're at. Peace. I love you. From Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Please share this. Maybe maybe there's a doctor you know. Maybe there's a nurse who can talk to a doctor she knows. Or maybe there's a therapist or a psychologist, a psychiatrist. I highly doubt that a psychiatrist, especially a professor of psychiatry, is going to tell any truths. We're pretty much out here on our own as far as true health care. I think a lot of people know that. So, but I'll probably be back tomorrow. I love you bunches. Have a good day.